there are two types of loneliness. The first type is when someone feels alone and they're really alone. The second type is when someone feels alone even with presence of other people. And guess what? It turns out being the worst type of loneliness. Now the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam felt this kind of loneliness that he felt lonely even though he was surrounded by people who wanted to put him in the blazes of the fire. At this point in time, he called on to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the profound supplication where he was quoted to having said, Hasbi Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for me and he is the best handler of my affairs. After saying this dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with immediate effect intervened in Ibrahim alayhi salam's situation, thereby ordering the fire, Ya nar, kuni bardan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. O fire, be cool, be a source of cool and peace to my slave Ibrahim. Just like the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, felt the same kind of loneliness in Ta'if, only that he had a shoulder to cry on, the shoulder of Zayd ibn Haritha. The same happened to our mother Aisha radiallahu anha when she was slandered for over one month in Medina. But guess what? She also went on to recite, to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a Quranic profound supplication. Hasbun Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best handler of our affairs. And thereby Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intervened and He cleared the name of Aisha radiallahu anha by revealing verses verses in his noble book and having your trust in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not all about saying hasbi allah wa ni'mal wakil it goes far beyond that that even when it is implied allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intervenes just like the scenario of prophet musa alayhi salam when he reached the shores of the Red Sea with his followers, all his followers were in doubt. They had no way forward. Only to put his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet Musa said, Inna Rabbi Sayahdeen. With me is my Lord Sayahdeen. He will show me the path to take. And immediately, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had to intervene in Prophet Musa's situation, thereby splitting the Red Sea and created path for Musa to go through together with his people. You know we go through a lot as human beings. You might have lost your job, you might be going through a divorce, you might have failed a class, or you might have lost your loved one and this is not the end of it all allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take us through it with whichever situation we are going through all allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants is for you to have your trust in him trust allah he will cool the fire in your life just like he did with prophet ibrahim alayhi salam he will clear your name just like he did so with our mother Aisha radiallahu anha and indeed trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will split the sea just like he did so with Prophet Musa alayhi salam all Allah requires from you is to say hasbi Allah wa ni'mal wakil and to imply 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for you and with him all your affairs are attended to.